Hello guys, it's my DRM Watch 3 review. Here is how it looks. On the right side there is uh, buttons, three buttons. On the left side there is USB port, uh, can be used for charging or for data transfer. Also this small hole is for resetting watch if for some reason it freezes or something. This is how looks a watch face, the main screen. It's all adjustable. You can select whether, whether show or not some parts like status bar or uh, digital clock or calendar. Let's see menu. This button opens apps menu. There is alerts settings, calendar settings, melodies, files, memory, timer, stopwatch, flashlight, debug menu, you are alone, uh, meow, this is kittens meow simulator, and some screen savers. Let's go one by one. Alert settings. It's you can set multiple alerts for different time. You can enable it or disable. You can set time for any of them. Melody, any one, anything you want. From the list available melodies. And also you can change name of alert because any of them has its own name. Calendar for every month. Settings, there is a lot of them, I'll show it later. Melodies, uh, there is a lot of melodies, I'll show it on separate video, because there is too many of them to show it in one video. You can set it to alarm, or set it on timer, or listen it from the menu. Files. A watch has its own file system, uh, it's about 1.2 megabytes of memory located directly in ESP32 memory. It reads a format DVM, it's monophonic melodies, my, my format, BMP monochrome files like this. Also it reads TXT files, UTF-8 encoded. And it reads WAV files. All you can do with these files is to open it from file manager or also you can set opening it as quick action to these two buttons these two buttons are adjustable like uh, now I open in calendar or opening flashlight yes this watch has uh, flashlight white is for uh, classic flashlight red is uh, dark night flashlight not to blind yourself in dark night to to add some files from your PC to download or upload, you can open Memory Manager, connect to USB. This menu, while this menu opened, PC sees connected USB flash drive for 1.2 megabytes, and you can move, rename, download or upload files. And this is how partition partitioned internal memory. Timer. It can be set for any time, for from 30 seconds and to 99 hours. Also, it is working in background. Uh, you can set timer, exit from app, and it will uh, continue working and will inform you when time is over. Stopwatch is same thing. It's counting time. It also works in background, like you see. It's counting now, it's showing minutes. Mm. 
if I reset timer, my last data is added to the history. So it's storing history of last five measurements. Also, you can enable or disable flashlight from main menu. Debug screen, it's a lot of technical information, not usable for classic user, but some readings from ADC or something. UART log uh, showing all the information which get over serial port by USB. It can be used for debugging, debugging some software on PC, for, uh, for example. Meow it's simulation of kittens meowing, just for fun, nothing serious. Some screen savers, Conway's game of life in full screen, also you can select it as background for your watch face. The same thing is fire, it's Berlin's noise. And lava lamp is same thing, it's Berlin noise. It also can be set as background for your watch face. This is random noise, like old TV. Langton's end, it's a cellular automaton some dots. All of these can be set as watch face background. I show it later. For S4 settings, you can set time by syncing it over Wi-Fi. Also, you can enable daily syncing, but there is no need for that because uh, RTC accuracy is enough. You can manually set time. And also, you can set time zone. For winter, it's alert I made previously. It worked. Also, also you can set time zone. Because I moved time, because of that, uh, alert is triggered. You see, it's moving both times. Yeah, like this. The next one is display settings. You can select which face. Uh, there is two of them, uh, side divided, uh, like this, and full screen, where you have ground, some information on the corners, and both of them are adjustable. You can enable or disable status bar, uh, you can see hide or show analog clock, digital clock, current date, month, name of month, in case you forget it, like me day of week background uh, here is selecting ground live uh, cellular automaton noise and dots fire lava all of them you can select only one of them now i selected only fire and fire will work if i select for example noise will be selected one of them also you can set as background bmp file previously downloaded to memory, show on height or height calendar, uh, temperature measurement, uh, it's RTC uh, temperature, and also temperature plot, how it changed over time, uh, over the last two hours. DJ, DJI logo, because I have it everywhere, clock and status bar, you can, show, co you can show it or hide it on watch face, this one, and days since last charge in case you want to track your battery performance. Also, you can set SPI frequency. SPI frequency, by default, it's 2 megahertz uh, because it's set by datasheet. Datasheet says that this particular model, particular model of display able to work up to 2 megahertz. But uh, you can increase this value to draw more frames per second. But if you select too much, there will be is some artifacts. It's okay. All displays are unique and optimal value is different. So it's place for experiments. Uh, 
this is optimal value for my uh, display. As for design, you can invert colors on screen. You can change language. Uh, watch is supporting two languages. It's English and Ukrainian. It changing immediately, so you don't need to reboot or something. You can change design of all watch by changing roundness. It's global settings and you can see now it's very round. And if I set it to zero, now you can see it's now very sharp. It can be set by preference. You can enable or disable some type of animations, like this circle from right to left can be changed to no animation, like this, or maybe fill from left to right, like this, or this option, it also can be set, and glitch, and noise. There is options for exit animation. Also battery calibration. Battery calibration is process to store entire discharge curve of your particular battery. To do it, you have to do next thing. Charge your uh, watch fully and then enter calibration, start it and let watch stay uh, untouched for about 4 to 20, to 20 hours. Uh, my my is last for 11 hours. Then, well, when it discharged, you can just charge it and now we, it will show battery percent uh, better. Wi-Fi settings, it can be... It can find some networks. And if you add it, you can sync time using it. This is some glitch. I don't know why it rebooted, but something is happening. Let's try again. Okay, maybe it's something about uh, language, because in Ukrainian it works well. I will fix it in updates. Okay, let's go next. Uh, it, you can change button sound. Also, you can set silent mode in which no button sound is uh, playing, but also it also it will play only uh, only melodies, like uh, you open it or uh, you set alarm at it and it worked. Also, you can change tone of all sound in the system, in systems. It affects really all sounds. quick access you can select actions for different events like pressing center buttons or holding uh, center buttons or pressing up buttons or holding up buttons also you can change your action to set timer button down is locked and down button is always calling menu because it's very convenient when you call menu and you already press down button so you can hold it down and navigate to menu at the same time. Do not re release the button at all. Uh, rebooting watch and turning off watch. Also, there is about screen where you can find firmware version, hardware version, and uh, its logo. And this QR code is linked to my GitHub page. Let's reboot it, for example. This is how it works. That's all settings, that's all the functions. So go to my GitHub page and assemble one for you. Have a good day.